like the church pastor said. We're gonna be in and out, but we're still gonna collect an offering though. Hello beautiful besties and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today, dwellings, we're talking about long lasting fragrances. Fragrances that are going to get on you, hold you tight and never let you go. Now some of these I have even washed off and faintly, I was still able to smell it. They stay on your clothes forever. They ever get on your clothes, unless you dry clean it or wash it, it's gonna be on the clothes forever. If you wanna hear what they are, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwellings. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, or you wanna become a part of, stop what you're doing, drop in the comment section below. What is your longest lasting fragrance that you have in your collection? You might be helping somebody else out and let's just be honest, you know I wanna know, right? Let me know what's the longest lasting fragrance in your collection. If this seems like your vibe or your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, don't stop there. Tap the notification bell, it will let you know every single time there is a new video placed on this channel. And if you wanna take it a step further, come over, slide in the DM and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, dwellings, we are jumping into this video right now. Hey besties. Okay, you guys, we're not gonna be here for a long time. Like the church pastor said, we're gonna be in and out, but we're still gonna collect an offering though. No, I'm just kidding, I'm <laughs> just Why? kidding. This is Spirantino Forentino by Tiziana Terenzi. This is a hot beast, sexy fragrance. Yes, it has reminisced to BR540, it does, but this is so hot. You guys, when I found this fragrance, I could not stop talking about it. I got a sample of it and I was like, oh yeah, I need a whole bottle. This is so good, this is a beast. This is gonna get on you, it's gonna hold you tight, it's never gonna let you go. A few of the notes inside, it's leather, it's saffron, it's smoky, it's sandalwood, it's oak moss, it's birch, it smells like a burning fire in the most sexiest, luxurious way ever. This is a beast. Now this is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I do not recommend blind buying this. I believe you can pick up a sample at So Avant if you're just like, girl, I enjoy blind buying, I enjoy the rush, I have a 20% off discount code. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. I move on. This is another one. Went to brunch, my guy was wearing this, he was sitting across, I was sitting across. I kept getting whiffs of him all brunch long. I was like, check please. I, I'm telling you the truth, it's what happened. Check please. Not Checkmate, Check Please. This is by Mind Games. This is called Checkmate. This is so super good, so long lasting, so sexy, such a beast. This fragrance house just gets it right. They can do no wrong by me so far. And I hear they're coming out with another set of fragrances, which I cannot wait to try out. In this fragrance is rose, patchouli, tobacco. It also has champagne. It's a fizzy note in there. Man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. This right here is good, good. I move on. Let's get this woman out of the way, do I Alien, absolutely, by me glare. This is a beast. This is jasmine, this is holding you tight, this is never letting you go. This is one of those that you can spray really heavy and spray your clothes and spray everywhere like you just like doing the sprinkler system like she loves to do. And you gonna have to be in the shower for a minute before it comes off. So what I did, because I have the hair mist, I have the body cream and I have this. And I was like, oh, I'm layering. <coughs> Amber, jasmine. I didn't need to do that. I way overdid it. You don't need to do that with this fragrance. I rarely reach for it. This is a beast. So if you are that woman and you want a signature scent, you want something long lasting, sexy, mysterious, dark, heavy. This right here is good, good. This is a beast when it comes to longevity. A beast, super long lasting. I move on. This is Tibet by Tinsiana Terenzi. This is a fruity floral fragrance, long lasting, beast mode and sillage, projection, longevity. It's gonna get on you, hold you tight, not let you go. It's gonna stick to your clothes. It's gonna stick in your hair. It is going to stick to you. A few of the notes inside is floral, it's peach, it's vanilla. It has a little bit of cotton candy in it. It has some amber in it. If you like a sexy, 
fruity, floral. And when I say floral, don't think floral, floral. Think floral. Type of fragrance, get your nose on this. So Avantgarde, 20% off. Most of these you can pick up at 20, at So Avantgarde for 20% off. I'm gonna just link everything in the description box below. So if it says 20% off, buy it, and you wanna pick it up, pick it up. I move on. You know she was gonna be in here. Don't even look at me funny, please. I know I've been talking about her a lot lately. I bring her out, she needed some shine time. She's back on So Avantgarde's website, so I'm sharing the tea with the people. For those who don't know, Strychnina. This is a tropical vacation in a bottle that will get on you tight, hold you, and never let you go. And let me give you a quick 2.5. So I was wearing units last year. I can't even keep up, I don't know. But I was wearing units, wigs, whatever you call them, right? And um, the lady, I took it off, and I took it to have maintenance done, wash, you know, color, whatever. And I was sitting in with my real hair under the dryer, right? And she walked over to me and she was like, um, excuse me, like what fragrance is in this wig? Like it will not come off. I have washed it like twice, conditioned everything, and it's still there. Strict Nina? And then she was like, oh, by the way, can you bring me a sample? And I did, I did, cause she's like that. We don't gatekeep, you guys, this is a beast. A few of the notes inside, like I said, bergamot, it's peach. It has raspberry, vanilla, amber. It's woody down in the base. This right here has musk in it. This is good, good. The notes do it no justice. Check out So at Vanguard, 20% off. Start with a sample. <sighs> I rarely say anything is blind buy worthy, but this is really good. I wore this to the Kendrick Lamar concert too. I was feeling myself, I was smelling myself. I was like, girl, you smell amazing. Iconic, classic, long lasting patchouli. It's not going anywhere. It's gonna always be in my videos because I love Chanel and I love this fragrance. If you do not have it, you want something classic, you want something to wear to the office and anytime, anywhere, any place. Versatile, easy reach, grocery store, Pilates, uh, Whole Foods, Coco Mademoiselle. I tell you guys that all the time. This is one of the longest, lasting fragrances I have in my collection. I have two more that will put this one uh, more towards the middle of the pack than the beginning because these two are beast. But this right here, long lasting. You cannot go wrong with Coco Mademoiselle unless you really don't like the patchouli note or you don't like it to be really, uh, what would you say? Like, uh, I don't know. It's got a certain DNA of Chanel. So if you're not a fan of Chanel fragrances, this might not be for you. Don't blind buy it. Work, church, brunch, classy, elegant. Those are the places that I said. Bergamot, orange blossom, rose. It's got vetiver in it, tonka bean, patchouli. I love it. Okay, I move on. This is a woody fragrance and it's absolutely a beast. This is Hachiva by Nishane. This is the Extrait de Parfum. This right here is pineapple, grapefruit, cedar. It's got oak moss. It's got some woody notes down in the base. This is good, good. You guys, this is a really good fragrance. My guy, another 2.5. I know, that's why I can't be telling these story times. Another 2.5, do we have time? Yeah, we do, another 2.5. We went to the family reunion. I tell you guys this all the time. I was wearing another fragrance, which I'll tell you about. And then my guy was wearing this. Okay, man, woman, boy, child, human. My guy was wearing this. And so he's over there talking to my aunts over there, just like, somebody smells good, somebody smells good. She was nowhere near me. So I knew she wasn't talking about me, so I'm like, what's she talking about? And she was like, oh my gosh, it smells like a man. It smells good, it smells good. She was talking about him. I had to walk over and be like, excuse you. And she was like, oh my God, what is he wearing? He smells so good. And he was like, you know, he don't never know the names. He's that guy that tries all the fragrances, but all oh, we did, this is not about him. I digress, I come back. But anyways, I told him, <laughs> When you spray the fragrance, look at the name, so when they ask you, you know what it is, even though you're gonna say it wrong anyway, and I know I have my nerves, because you know I get the fragrance names wrong. But anyways, um, yes, Hachivat is an amazing fragrance. It's the pineapple note, it's the woodiness, it's sexy. It's good on me, but it's a beast, and a roaring lion on him. It's good, good, I move on. Paragon by Initios Parfum. This right here is so good. The Palo Santo, the black pepper is what made me fall in love. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a beast. This, I have so many memories. Oh, girl, that took me back. Ah, that one night. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. This, <laughs> this right, good. do you guys have that? Okay, another quick 2.5. Do you have those fragrances sometime that you, you know, you can take the cap off or you could be telling someone about it and you'll get a whiff of it and you'll just go back right then to that time and place of what you were doing, of what was going on, of what was happening. And you're like, oh my God, this night right here, this was a good night. The dinner was good too. Yeah, this was a really good night. It wasn't even then. We had a time that night. <laughs> is that what they're saying? We had a time. You guys, this right here is really good. It's bright, it opens. I think just the experience of going to the launch for this particular fragrance was so amazing and mesmerizing as well. They had all the different like um, 
what what would you call it like sages and different things out and they had like lavender and like they had palo santo it was just a beautiful presentation and so forever i will have this fragrance in my collection but not only that it just has amazing memories and the scent trail it leaves is unreal it is a beast it's gonna get on you hold you tight and not let you go i move on i also want to take a quick intermission and say this these are the experiences that I've had with these fragrances. We all know, and you guys, I have to say this because while some of you may know this, a lot of times people are new to the channel and they do not. So I never want to be misleading or lead someone down a path that's not going to be true for them. That's why I always say start with a sample and try before you buy if you can. I understand we're not always able to do that. These are my impressions and my experiences with these particular fragrances. Fragrances are subjective. They may not do that for you. I have been told, oh, this is a beast on me. And I'm like, I can't even smell it. So try for yourself. Okay, but this one here is BDK. This is Grizz Chanel. This is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this. This is uber, uber, uber sexy in my opinion. I have the newest one as well as this one. I believe it's like Grizz Chanel Extrait de Parfum. This one is still my favorite. This is a beast. You don't have to overspray it, but I do. And I can tell you the truth, I don't need to, but I really do overspray it because that's just what I do. I overspray all my fragrances. This is Set at XC. I took notes. This is Fig, Cardamom, this is Iris, this is Bourbon, this is Sandalwood, Tonka Bean. This is sexy. This is, <laughs> this is, excuse me, miss. What's your name? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing? Where are you going? Do you have plans? That's one of those. For him, her, this is one of those. Oh, yes, man, woman, boy, child, human. I move on. Drop it in the comments section right now. Like, what two fragrances am I bringing up as a tie? Because I couldn't... I could, one of them I had longer. So I was like, you, you're going to win. You're, you're coming. And then the other one, I was like, but gosh, every time I wear you, it's just like, it's a different kind of what are you wearing. It's like what are you wearing? You know what I mean? Like, I know in the fragrance community, we say that a lot. Like, people are like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I, I get it. I know. I go. But you guys, seriously, when I was out the other day, and I I, I have started capturing my people, because people are, I'm like, can I, do you mind if I film you? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, just tell the camera what you just told me. And they're like, oh my God, you smell so good. Can you please? Stop? This guy, I walked in the winery, and I was going in to do like a, a tasting, and I was with my guy, and so he's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, what? And he was like, you smell so good, what are you wearing? And I was like, what? And he's like, you smell good. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, let's get that other camera. So I am telling you guys, I'm not just saying that. I am capturing these moments for you. And these two, every single time, they are the longest lasting, most complimenting getting, is that right, complimented getting? Fragrances in my collection. <laughs> If you knew you knew, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the subscribe. Come around, stay a while. You'll see that I am a creature of habit. I like what I like, you guys. Delina and Valaya both get me amazing compliments and these are beast when it comes to longevity and projection. These are both getting on your hair, your clothes, your body. They're holding you tight, your car seat, your seat belt where it goes around. You'll be like, who's wearing Valaya? Oh my gosh, I must have I must have bathed in it because it's on the car, it's on the seat belt. These two are gonna do that for you. I have in my hair right now, I was spraying this because I was wearing it like yesterday or what have you, and I was spraying this, and when I got my hair down, you know you take your hair down, you shake it out or whatever, and I'm like, oh my God, Valaya, it is a beast. Delina does the same thing. This has in it, it's like a white peach. This has the rhubarb, leche, nutmeg, beautiful fragrances, tons of videos on my channel on both of these fragrances. If you are in need of a beast fragrance, long lasting, Check these out, I move on. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I love you like cooked food. I truly, truly appreciate you. I hope everyone is having a fantabulous August. Um, God, I was gonna go real deep right now, but I'm not. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, I was getting out of this video. Okay, let me end the video and then I'll, I'll, I'll come back. Oh my gosh, when that happens, you just gotta listen. Okay, um, 
I'm done with the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend. These are my long lasting fragrances that I would recommend. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Okay. All right, now on a real note, on a real topic, you guys, I was watching, watching, is that what we do? I was watching Instagram. I Yeah, I was on Instagram. I had finished my workout. I was doing my stretching. And so I grabbed my phone and I, this is, this has nothing to do with fragrance. Okay, this has nothing to do with fragrance. So if you were just here for the fragrance, this is not going to be a fragrance. So I grabbed my phone and I had began to just scroll and I was, you know, listening. I always put like a cool down video on or something. So I was listening to this guy. He has a YouTube channel. He's huge here. He's got a makeup line, lip gloss line, something. And he had said something and it really stuck with me. I'm always one um, that's always smiling. I'm always looking for the glass to be half full. I'm always just looking for the greater good in the situation and the person. Like I said, I give you time after time after time, chance after chance after chance. That's just who I am. And then I get to a point where I'm like, Namas, you've crossed the boundaries. We are done. But in this particular incident, he was talking about how when you're on social media and some people can't differentiate it, that it is just the best highlights of people's life that that is not everybody's you know all day every day don't compare yourself to other people don't think that this is like everybody's like set selling on yachts drinking champagne eating at fine restaurants dining some people might be and i'm not even saying that you know i'm the first to put it out there because i love doing those things but i'm just saying it's not the only thing. Those are the moments that we're sharing. And then I also had a real moment with my cousin's sister. We were on the phone and we were talking and she was just saying that life is lifing, you know? And I was telling her the same thing. Life be life and you be going through some time and you know, you're just like, oh my God, which way do I turn? But if you know Jesus, hello, yep, yeah, I'm gonna say it. Yes, I'm gonna say it. If you know Jesus and you know where you can go and you know where you can go to get a prayer through, you know where you can go during tough times. You don't look to Instagram or to YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, any of those things. Sometimes you can find encouraging, uplifting messages, but if you really want to go to the source and you really want to feel better with whatever you're going through, which I don't know, go to the source. You know what I mean? Say a prayer. My whole meaning for saying that, because I'll start preaching real quick, but my whole message for saying that was that everything you see may be real because I don't put stuff out there that's not real, but I don't put like every single thing. You know what I mean? I live a private life. I share what I want to share and that's that. And most people do. So sometimes behind the scenes, people could be going through, they could be having things, but it's how you go through it. I've gone through things in my life when my mom, my dad was going through there in the hospital, just different things was happening. Life was lifey. I still had a smile. I still kept an upbeat attitude. I still, that's just who I am. That's how I choose to handle even adversity when it comes at me because I just believe like if God puts me through it he's if he takes me to it he's gonna see me through it that's what I'm trying to say if he brings me through something or to something he's gonna see me through it he's not gonna just leave me there I don't have to worry about being alone or like oh I don't know if I'm gonna make it I am because I know the man that I serve. I know the power that he possesses. I know the power that he has put inside of me. So he just feels that I'm strong enough to handle it. I was trying to get out of this video really quickly. Um, I was trying to keep it at like 16, 17 minutes. We are at 21 minutes. I gotta go, you guys, but I just wanted to stop by today to let you know about the longest lasting fragrances. First and foremost, how we got here, I was led and I just said what I said. I'm gonna always be obedient. I don't know who needs to hear this, but give it over to him and don't compare or compete or let what you see be like you're not enough or I don't have it or I'm not there. Everybody has something that they're going through. Everybody has a season. And all I can say is through anybody's season, pray for me because I'm gonna pray for you. All right, I really have to go. I don't know how this went there. I love you guys like I love cooked food. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.